Well, this is my gas boiler and in this video I'm going to tell you why we're getting rid of it and why we've chosen to go with a heat pump instead. I've got five main reasons and I hope it clearly explains why we've made this decision. You either have or you've had a gas boiler similar to this. It's pretty ancient now. This one's an ideal classic RS250 and um, this one is 27 years old. It's as old as the house. It's been in since new. It's a non-condensing gas boiler and it is due a replacement. It is very inefficient. Uh, best case on a good day, it would be around 70% efficient. Let me show you what else we're changing. So unless you've got a combi boiler, you've probably got a hot water, hot water cylinder, something like this. This is 140 litres and it's just as old as the boiler. So it is due a replacement. The insulation levels are pretty poor and at 140 litres, not really adequate for the hot water consumption in our house. Now, with this being a gravity fed system, the hot water performance is very poor throughout the house, apart from the shower, which is pumped. Uh, otherwise, the hot water performance is very lackluster. So that shows the couple of main components that are gonna be changed to help us to switch over to a heat pump. So in this mini series, I'm gonna try and split it up into a few different videos. This video is just gonna be focusing on the why. Why did we choose a heat pump? The first reason, as you can clearly see, that a replacement was needed anyway. In our case, our gas boiler's old, but not just that, the copper cylinder, the radiators, the header tanks in the loft, they're all 26, 27 years old. We've got poor uh, hot water pressure, everything needs updating, and so it all needs to be ripped out. So that kind of brings me into the second point. The initial cost of replacing this all with like for like with a gas boiler was actually working out a lot more expensive than we anticipated. So speaking to a couple of local plumbers, we were looking at a minimum of £5,000 to convert to a budget sealed system which would give us better hot water performance and a new condensing boiler which would be more efficient. We figured as we were doing this work we should probably invest a little bit more money and so we started looking at the likes of Intergas and Wiesmann and some of those more top end um, well regarded gas boilers. As we started looking along these lines we realised we'd update most of the radiators as well to bring the flow temperature down and help the gas boiler to work a lot more efficiently but before we knew it we were looking at well over eight thousand pounds before we even really started looking at the radiators and um, there were some quotes and some spreadsheets where we could easily spend ten thousand pounds in updating the heating system in the house so this moves me on to point number three and this is the running cost aspect although the running costs of a heat pump may not necessarily be cheaper or may not be a lot cheaper than a gas boiler in our case because we're replacing an old non-condensing very inefficient gas boiler even if the heat pump doesn't perform very well we should be quids in now the ultimately the long-term strategy is to load shift some of this using lower off-peak tariffs using home battery storage potentially solar and that's when a heat pump really starts to make sense because you can really have some incredible gains by um, either producing your own energy that you're then consuming with the heat pump which works then as a multiplier or you're able to load shift so that you can the energy that you're cons consuming is a lot more cost effective than some of the peak tariffs okay number four is the comfort factor this is something that we ventured into at our old house as i went about updating all the radiators and we turned our condensing gas boiler flow temperature right down that enabled that gas boiler to um, operate at a much lower flow temperature a lot more efficient a low and slow philosophy seemed to be really beneficial there so as i work from home this is clearly a wise choice um, 
Number five, of course, is the green credentials. It's the environmentally friendly option, especially if you can use renewable electricity to power it to start with. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money in the bank to always prioritize this at the top of my list, but it feels good to do our little part as we make these big decisions and as we invest some money. So that's gonna wrap it up. These are kind of my five reasons of why we've chosen to go with a heat pump. In the following videos, I'm gonna talk about choosing an installer, going through the planning permission, um, what other preparation we've had to do. Um, I'm gonna be uh, vlogging the installation as it happens day by day. Um, and then I'm going to go through the pros versus cons and other initial thoughts. So if there's anything you'd like to see, then please drop me a note and I'll make sure to include it.